frost on the roofs uh, this morning. It's going to be a little bit slippery this morning. Beautiful tour. Look at that. Beautiful tour. I think I see one on in that way as well. shrimp left the leg bone of a moose you know, and this bone is rich full of marrow so uh, I'll cut these up I'll cut this up in sections and use a piece you know in a pot of super stew man it's fantastic I'll soon make a, a porcupine pie and I'm gonna make a video uh, when I do that Fur is right here. Uh, this is uh, what we call a tur. Uh, it's a common mur and it's a member of the Ock family. <clears throat> yeah, it's in a member of the Ock family. And uh, you know, we in our area we, we don't harvest a whole lot of these. We're allowed 20 a day, 40 in, in your position for a two day hunt. But, uh, you know, normally don't kill nowhere near that. I usually get a meal or two or three to a time and that's it. Uh, you know, there's only so much you're going to eat, so you harvest, uh, I guess, what you like a little better. And uh, But uh, they do make a fine meal. Uh, now, another thing as well, I would normally clean these and put them in the freezer so when I take them out, they're ready to tie and go in the pot. But sometimes when you're strapped for time, uh, 
you know, just put them in the freezer like this. And they keep quite, uh, quite well like this, but the only thing now is just got to tile and clean them. And this water, this will uh, help dry the frost out of the, the tours quicker. It'll tile faster this way. And actually, you know, tours, uh, they spend pretty much all their life in the water. They'll come into the cliffs and lay, but most of the time they're spent, they're spent on, on the ocean. Well, that one's tied really good. Should love to clean them there now. Now, I've got to get busy and get these uh, tours cleaned up here. And first, just going to remove the wings and clean these today. Just going to grab a bit of the slack skin there on the breast. And just going to jam the knife right through. Right through that and just grab it, just tear it. Turn that skin right off. Right there. And the neck right there, just going to remove the head. Tear that down, line the wing there. Down line the back. And the other wing. And just like that, look, get the skin. Got two of them cleaned here now, but uh, I'm going to cook this one for supper. I'm going to put the other one in the refrigerator. Oh, on the back. The kidneys and the backbone was really, really good. We'll just cook it in half. Half. First bone is still meat with that, so I'll just meat in half. All right, I gotta clean the turb. I'm getting a little short on time, so I'll get the burner on and put a bit of vegetable in the pan. Of course, gotta have some salt pork and some salt beef. <laughs> what would I do with it? Okay, just uh... turn up the heat a little more. Music for my ears. Ooh, just look at that. A very large onion. Third, you know. Now today I'm going to be using kosher salt, just because I made a daughter salt. <laughs> And a good helping of pepper, a good helping of pepper. All right, guys, this here is a bag of uh, lined grain uh, wheat rice. All right, so I've got a quarter cup of rice. And you know, it uh, seems like the price of everything is uh, uh, going up. So, you know, uh, when you buy in bulk, bigger bags, you usually get it a bit cheaper anyway. Right here I got some uh, potatoes peeled in turds, I guess. 
So I'm gonna get right there. All right, so here's the potatoes. Now these are uh, ready for the pot. Oh, it smells so good. I'm turn this over a little bit. Stir it around. And now I'm gonna add a quarter cup of rice. I'm just gonna stir it all that around there. Ooh, just look at that. The rice was cooking in there for a little while. Uh, 10 minutes or so, and so now I'm gonna add the potato. Now I'm gonna add a little extra pepper right on top of the potato. Not too, too much. You know, I find when you're cooking like uh, meganzers or turs, uh, you add like a little extra salt pork or a little bit extra salt beef, extra onion, you know, and extra pepper. Uh, you'll find, you know, that uh, these old fish eating birds is just as good as what else is out there. I already got the burner turned off here now, so I'm going to plate this up. And look, look at that rice gravy right there. And make sure you use like dainty rice, don't use like minute rice in, in this kind of a meal. Not going to make no dough boys or pastry when we got fresh homemade bread. So I'm just going to plate this up here a bit now. Look at that rich rice gravy. Ooh. Now, of course, we got to do the taste test here. The heel tap of the bread with a bit of butter. Just a bit of that rice gravy there first. Like that there, soak up that juice. Oh, you talk about good. That really is good. Just a little bit of that there and a bit of that tur. Mmm. A little bit of a bone though, be careful now. Yeah, a bit more bread with that uh, rice gravy. Oh. That is also oh good. A little bit of salt beef with the potato. Oh, and that tur is really cooked nicely. Mmm.